The Clippers in the lead. And for the Lakers, they've got Torian Prince. Vincent is out there with Cameron Reddish. Then it's James. And it's Hayes in at the pivot, manning the middle. And for the Clippers, Martin is out there with Robert Covington. Then it's Marcus Morris. Then it's Paul George. And it's Mann in at the one. Here's LeBron. The shot goes down and hits his game back to even. LeBron's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Lakers. Passes to Covington. Morris inside, covered by Hayes. Covington kicks to George. Rebound the Lakers. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. They get it again. The Clippers shooting 47% from the floor, getting it done. Mann passes to George. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Lock at six. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Cam Reddish. George knows how to get his man to overcommit and off balance so he can draw the foul. He's got a number of sneaky veteran tricks that he effectively uses. Free throw good from George. And the Clippers, one of the more efficient three-point shooting teams, Greg, in the NBA. And Kevin, really over the last decade, that's been one of their most consistent traits. And it's not just because of talent. They're smart about the shots they take. Both shots good from the stripe. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Yeah, they've not missed a single foul shot this half. That's taking care of business, fellas. To the paint. Here's Hayes. He goes right over Marcus Morris and slams it down. And it's official. They have come all the way back. At one point, this thing seemed to be out of reach. I did not think they had enough clock to get all the way back. But here they are. And now they've got to feel like they're in control of this thing. Here's Mann. Defended by Vincent. From T, George. That one doesn't go. It's his fifth miss and ten shots from the floor. Prince kicks to James. To the inside. Hey. Oh! Oh! <laughs> LeBron doing what he does best. Creating four and elevating others. Outside, George. He feeds it to Morris. A shot's good on the assist by George. Morris has got it all tied up now for the Clippers. Oh, nice work finding the open man by George. Plays like this prove he's a team player. James looking it over. Shoot from the right block. And no good trying to use the glass. Clippers have gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. Clippers moving the ball around. The shot's good. Robert. And the Clippers lead by two. You know, even from that close in, Covington's got to maintain his poise against that kind of tight defense. Pass to Vincent. Now here's Prince. Here's James. And James throws it down. And not only does he get all the way to the rim in traffic, but how about he goes to the reverse? You got to be kidding me. That was awesome. No, that was outstanding, guys. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of it. Hey, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Clippers? Well, you know, throughout this game, they've shot the ball extremely well from downtown. Their shooters are getting open and letting it fly. 
Uh, and you also have to applaud how they've attacked the interior in this game. A lot of points happening for them in the paint tonight. In court for years, the Lakers have been the premier destination for free agents. Think that's still the case now? I do. I mean, it's still Los Angeles. The history of the Lakers is one of the premier franchises in the league along with the Celtics. So I think cap room is the driver, though. That's always the great equalizer in this day and age. And I think that helps keep some of the small market teams in the game as well. George, no good. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. James dishes to Russell. Back to LeBron. And there's the call on James. That's his fourth foul of the contest. And that fourth foul, guys, might force him to scale back the aggression from a defensive standpoint. He does not need, nor does the team need, number five. Hatchimer is checked in for Prince. Martin with a screen on LeBron. George finds Martin. LeBron against George. Pass to Westbrook. Goes up the baseline. Hachimura grabs the miss. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this boy. Man. Russell against Martin. Here's Hachimura. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Clippers. Next up for them, the Knicks. A road game in New York. That'll be the second on the road in the midst of this long four-game road stand. Puts it up from 15. A rebound by the Lakers. LeBron's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Taken away. Now the Clippers moving it up. Here's Mann. Played in with a nice touch there off the glass. Man. And the Clippers lead by two. So it's the Lakers now. Russell looking around. The pass to Vincent. To take the lead. That's good. He's five for nine. It works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Covington a screen on James. The three from George. In for his seventh make in 14 tries. First three of the half, second of the game. Can he heat up? The Lakers have gone six of nine on their field goal attempt since the start of the fourth quarter. To the middle, here's James. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And now the NBA's all-time leading scorer. Clark, LeBron did something most people thought would never be done. I'm in that camp, Greg. I tell you, Kareem was my guy. He was my idol as I was growing up. I never thought his record would be surpassed. It just shows you how remarkable LeBron has been in his production, in preparation, in taking care of his body. And this guy is still going strong. That makes him the king. First free throw is good. Hard last season, the Lakers making major trades, shaking up the roster, reforming their team. Yeah, you know, Kevin, they had four players left from opening night. That was it. Three major trades bringing in new talent. And that makes it difficult to find cohesion. So give L.A. a lot of credit for making that playoff run. And so he makes both from the line. We're always hearing the debate, who is the greatest of all time? Well, Clark, do you think passing Kareem's all-time scoring mark finally puts LeBron out in front? Kevin, that in and of itself puts LeBron in rarefied air, no doubt. But when you're talking about the greatest player of all time, we all have our opinion. It's just so hard, I think, to effectively debate players across different eras. I just say there have been a ton of great players throughout the history of the game, and LeBron is certainly at the top of the list, no matter when he plays. Inside. Here's Davis. That's in the short one. Davis has got the game tied up here for the Lakers. 
His ability to dominate games is what makes Anthony Davis a top tier player. Russell against Westbrook over Russell. Westbrook no good. The Lakers have gone 7 of 10 shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. There's the feed to Davis. Over Westbrook. Goes back up. That shot off. Great tee that time from Leonard. Feeds it to George. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got his 18th rebound here tonight all over the place. And it's James missing. Clippers have gone only 6 of 14 for the field in the fourth. Powell, no one around him. And again, it's the Clippers missing. The Lakers shooting 48% for the field. Not bad at all. Davis, the pass to LeBron. Here's Reeves. Here's Hachimura. Five on the clock. James outside. Shoots over Powell. And James with the basket on the assist by Russell. James has got 11 points in the quarter. Guys, this has been an incredible performance this quarter. I mean, he's getting the ball where he likes it and wants it and just going to work. Let's it go. Leonard with the bucket. And that's now 24 points for Leonard. Claw getting rid of it in a hurry. Nice quick release that time. Lakers have gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Passes it to Davis. The three. Russell kicks to Hachimura. Hits it from three-point range. Hachimura's got the lead up to three now for the Lakers. One thing you can say about Hachimura, he is not afraid of the challenge. Outside Leonard. Place jumper from the free throw line. Leonard's got 26 points. And guys, that's the man you want with the ball in his hands on that critical possession. Kawhi being his best in the biggest moments. Russell passes to Reeves. Down low. Here's LeBron. Smooth finish inside by LeBron. LeBron delivering in the key moments. Huge basket from the game. And the Clippers call time here. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Teron Lou as he talked with the team. Now with the game in the balance, coach told his team to play loose. Don't overthink it. We got this far playing our game, and we can win the same way. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. man. He's guarded by Russell. Here's man. Just four to shoot. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. And guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high quality shot and then able to knock it down. Davis with a screen on power. And it's Davis missing. Nothing's going his way since the horn. I mean, looks like he used up all his mates in the last quarter. A nice shot by George. And he just seems to always deliver in the clutch. And he's got it going right now. That's who they want taking the big shot. And Davis can't get it to go. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Zubac, no good. And so it's Davis bringing the ball up for the Lakers. Trailing by two. 
Here's LeBron. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. And this is who LeBron James is. An incredible leader. When the game is tight, this guy willing to step up. To the wing on the left. Howell against James. Launches it. Rebounded by the Lakers. Here's the three. It's hauled in by George. And it's the Clippers ball. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on Davis. And with the game hitting the balance, PG is a good bet to deliver. He sinks the clutch free throw. And what I love about Paul George, the production year after year after year. Seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? Hey, they do have enough time here if they shoot quickly to get the two for one. Well, we'll see if they try. Thirty-two seconds left here in the fourth quarter. The drive by LeBron. Yes! Boy, is it tough to stop LeBron right now. And Teron Liu wants a timeout. Welcome to the floor, the legendary, fantastic Lakers girl. Shot and game clock separated by four. Zubats a screen on Russell. Here's George. Count it. Well, all George has been sensational. Timeout called the Lakers. They're down by two. There's 18 seconds left in the game. Guys, what do you think? Big chance here to tie it with a bucket. A critical possession, no doubt. We'll see what they draw. There's 18 seconds left to play in the final quarter. A.D. is the man. Fine time play by a fine time bowler. Outside, George. From outside the arc. Count it! And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. You know, that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. 
So it's the Clippers taking the win in a close one. This win such a tremendous emotional boost for them. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thank you very much, Kevin. Kawhi, you have become an elite two-way player, so how do you carry that scoring load with that defensive responsibility? Uh, it's very difficult. Uh, you know, your mind's on the whole game, 48 minutes. But, uh, you know, my teammates, give me in the groove, give me the energy to keep fighting throughout the whole 48 minutes. Well, you did a great job of leading them tonight, man. Appreciate your time. Kevin? Thank you, David. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast.